Right, so I've gotten in some wonderful twit pics and I want to share them with you. This one is from Jeanette Gallagher. David Moore, of course, sent this beautiful one in from Abita Springs. Look at Kelly and Picune. You know, they had that storm nearby and you can just see how beautiful. And then this one from Ryan saying, a bunch of Shalmatians watching the sunset on Lake Washita in Arkansas. And then look at the sunset over WDSU from Bill Armstrong. So thank you everybody for all of your twit pics. Of course, you can send them to me here at, at Margaret Orr on Twitter and I like to show them on the air. All right, let's look at what's happening. The good news is no rain out there now. We can look on the North Shore. You'll see a couple of highlighted areas also along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. That's where there are minor flood warnings uh, for the rivers there. South Shore, not seeing anything. The rain today was really in this narrow path where we had the storms. We were on the air with them at four, five, and six. Here's the big picture high pressure in the Gulf. We've got this west flow and we're waiting on a cold front. We can look to the north. There's the cold front. It's moving our way. It's going to get into the area on Saturday. Your rain chances are going up. The potential that we could have some strong storms and you're going really a cold front this time of the year. It does happen. Now it's going to move through. It's not necessarily going to cool us down much. What it will do is cause the humidity to drop. So overnight I'm not expecting rain. Going into tomorrow, the truth is rain chances are low, but you could still have an isolated strong storm, just like today with a locally heavy downpour. We had that in Slidell, and we did have a flood advisory. Some flooding did occur on the streets. That rain moves to the south. It dissipates. We go into Friday morning. It's looking great. In the afternoon, an isolated shower or storm. That's it. Let me tell you, the next two days are going to be hot, and this is an indicator of what we're going to have, except maybe even a little bit hotter in a few locations. So Hammond up to 97, Bogalusa 94, the airport 94, Galliano 94, Homa 95. I mean, it was hot. And you know what? We haven't really cooled off much. 83 still being reported at the airport, mainly upper 70s North Shore and Mississippi Gulf Coast right now. South Shore, we're all in the 80s and that heat index is actually in the low to the mid 90s so it's still feeling really warm morning lows from the mid 70s to the low 80s and your high temperatures tomorrow are climbing right there into the mid to the upper 90s it's going to be another hot day you really need to take some breaks from the heat now if you want to go to the beach i think the weather cooperates keep in mind an isolated shower or storm tidal range not so great about a half a foot and the wind not too bad west at about 10 to 15. Saharan dust still in place. So um, the air quality is moderate, but thankfully we're not dealing with pollen. We're looking at the tropics and we go over here into the East Atlantic. Here is where we've got 30% chance for tropical development, but this system dealing with dry air. So we can look at tomorrow, three in the afternoon, low to the mid 90s, slight chance of rain, the potential you could could have a strong storm. Ditto Friday. Saturday is when you've got that rain and storm chance as the cold front moves into the area. And then going into the first of the week, you may just notice a little less humid and in the morning, not quite as warm. So that's our July cold front. We'll be right back. Don't go away.